everybody welcome back so this is the day we're going to do our our last giveaway of clothing that we sent back in December of 2021 uh, we've been waiting a long time for one box that got lost and it just finally arrived uh, a few weeks ago so we sorted everything out and today we're heading to Mabini to, to do this giveaway because the people here have never experienced a giveaway and uh, I think the people in this area are still hurting from the pandemic type stuff because they couldn't sell their their seafood so we'll go there and maybe make these people's day a little bit happier and uh, hopefully the the one lady that we're going there to give away to hopefully we can find some things in her size because she says she's a little bit bigger maybe we won't have anything for her so but I think we will so so when we get there, I have to unload the truck in the beaten hot sun because it's almost 12 o'clock <laughs> and it's hot. I already got soaked once loading the truck. I'll get soaked again unloading it and I'm going to sit in the air conditioning. <laughs> I won't forget to bring my own chair. So, so we'll go there and we'll unload and see how many people show up. We're going to let the lady, the one lady go first and then after that call everybody else over to to get some free clothes or shoes, pocketbooks, whatever it may be, bags. So we'll see you there. Looks like a bolt disappeared. This is a downhill. The road is gonna disappear on you. I hope they're not going the same spot we're going. Well, it doesn't really, you can't really tell a lot, but it's downhill. <laughs> so they moved the boxes outside and they called the neighborhood people so now they're going through it all so hopefully when we leave we won't have much left if anything i hope it's only one box or less so. seems like people mainly go for the shoes which is, uh, really amazes me but they always head for the shoes the shoe box is almost already empty And I had some winter clothes of my stuff in there, and it's like they, they take the winter clothes first. I don't understand it. Winter clothes and shoes. A dead coconut tree. That's from the Typhoon Odette. Just one little leaf left on the tree. And I'm sure it was bad here during Typhoon Odette because the water is right there. So I'm sure everything here got flooded. And uh, it's hard to show these houses here. Let me see if I can walk around a little bit. The, the homes here are just right on a creek, I guess you would call it. Inlet Creek, I'm not sure what. And the, the houses are just lined up over here on the other side. 
hard to see through all these trees. So I'm sure when the, the Typhoon Odette came through, I'm sure the, the, the storm surge came in here pretty good. I'm sure a lot of these probably got wiped out or flooded at least. So you can see the houses over there. And then behind those houses is more houses, just like rows and rows and rows of houses. I'm not sure if you can see, but there's like a bamboo walkway there. Going from the front here back through to the other houses. It was just uh, little uh, bamboo houses, uh, plywood houses, and Macan houses, which is that one right ahead of me. So not much sturdiness really. And these are the uh, oyster shells that they're getting ready to put back out into the water. They got them stringed together. Oh, yep, they're already stringed together. See, put back out into the water to grow new oysters. But like I say, the water is just right here. So I'm sure it all came in from that creek over there and here. It doesn't take long to get rid of boxes of clothing <clears throat> when the people don't really have much, you know. So they're so grateful for anything. A lot of people here. And we only had five boxes left, so. And they're so orderly. Which... I like it when they're orderly like this. I like that one place we went to. Everybody was fighting with each other. That one guy's hair matches his shirt. I was talking to the... Can't be much left in them boxes. Seems like everybody's arms are full of clothes. You're welcome. You're welcome. So, so, hopefully those of you in the U.S. heard that. Everybody said thank you. Okay. So, so if there's anybody in the U.S. or any other country that's listening, they really want jackets or sweatshirts here, even though it's 100 degrees and I'm standing in the shade sweating. They want jackets or sweatshirts or like hoodies for going out into the water. Which, like I say, I sent a, I sent a winter jacket that's like, that I would wear when it's below freezing and they, they took that. So, which to me is crazy, but everybody's a little different. Hey. That's, hey, that's too small. That's too small. <laughs> it's too small. Long sleeves long pants. Long sleeves and long pants is what they prefer in this, in this area, like sweatpants. Water. They use it for going out in the water in the mornings on the boat because to them it's cold. Cold in it. See, each person has their own piles of clothing. Other people are leaving. People are walking back.
So, took less than 10 minutes and most everything is going out of five boxes. Just a little bit left. So, and I want to say a big thank you to anybody that donated any clothing to us to give away. I really do appreciate it. Some people are a little late getting here now, there's not much left. So that's pretty much it. So please like, like, share, and subscribe. And thank you for watching. And thank you for anybody that's ever donated any stuff to us that we can give away. And you all have a great day. Kiluan na kalinjo na kiluan episode. Dari ah.